Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about a request that I've gotten over and over and over, which is basically asking me to talk about artificially intelligent art. So for those who don't know what that is, it's basically you write some sort of prompt or some text and uh, the machine, the artificial intelligence, creates you a piece of art. Now, a lot of these different pieces of art are actually really, really cool. And um, I've gotten questions before of people asking me, uh, you know, do you use the art for print on demand? Do you sell the art? Uh, to be 100% honest, um, I have access to these artificial intelligent tools, but I've never sold any of the art. Uh, for me, um, I don't know. I just never, I, I just never got around to it. I know there's people that do it and sell it and 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 make money using it. I don't know how profitable it could be, um, but I'm sure just like any other photo, it can be potentially very profitable. Uh, the only kind of thing that could be a case that may hurt your profit is how graphic how the graphics are you know um, if you want to scale up your image it could cause a little bit of difficulty when you scale up certain images uh, with the with the with these sort of sort of images because they are raster style images uh, they're not vectors by any means or anything like that uh, so they could be pixelated and things like that and when you upload a photo like this that the artificial intelligent does um, usually they're all set certain size and then when you take them and you upload them into Redbubble, for example, a lot of the times they're, you know, that image that you upload is, even if you scale it up, it's not going to fit the the product that you're selling. You're going to have those borders, you're going to have, it's just not going to look proper. Like, for example, if I put it on a mug, that mug is going to have the barriers, uh, the, the empty barrier on the top of the mug and the bottom, uh, and the image is not going to fit all the way around the mug. Uh, and that's just a simple example. You know, if I was to take, like, imagine a photo like this and put it on a t-shirt, it just wouldn't look right uh, because that's not how t-shirts work. So, I mean, you would need a transparent design for the most optimal. So, uh, is it viable? It could be viable depending on the situation. I mean, if you sell them as stickers or you sell it as an iPhone case, like, I could see a piece of art like this as an iPhone case. But then again, spacing and the way it's created is important like for example if you guys see this piece of art um if i was to put this on an iphone case part of the face of this monster creature whatever would be probably removed or or cut off it, it just wouldn't be centered properly it wouldn't be optimized 100 percent properly but certain image I, I feel like you can sell like an image like this if you put it on a sticker, for example, there's a potential that somebody's going to buy it. You, it's just a matter of mathematics. How many people out of the millions of, of lemon photos for sale or oranges or whatever this is uh, would buy this? You know, it, it just, you know, it's just based on numbers. But there are very cool images, and, I, and I'm very sure and I'm very more than aware that uh, there are people who sell their artificially intelligent photos and make money. Um, but today, we're going to actually make some, and we're going to have some fun doing this. So, um, I'm using Dolly 2. You guys can search Dolly 2. Uh, Dolly 2 has a a uh, open list, like a wait list, so you can apply to like join um, the, the wait list. Uh, I got mine approved in like a few weeks, so it shouldn't take too long for you guys, maybe even a few days. Um, and I'll just do like an example. So right here, I have like a beginning of the prompt. And what I tend to find is the more descriptive you are, the better it might be. So a Van Gogh style painting of uh, an ice cream sundae, right? Like something like that. And let's hit generate. And we'll just sit back and wait for this to do its thing. So the way it generally works is, and you can see here on the right, I, I've asked for it to perform like a lot of creations of different images. Uh, I think this is just something cool to have around the house. Like, you know, just, you know, the friends are over, the family's over. And you'd be like, hey, let me show you this picture that the uh, computer does literally drew for me in a matter of seconds. And you guys just see the prompt. A Van Gogh style painting of an ice cream sundae. Check out this, right? Or check this out, right? Like, look at that. That's actually not that bad and it looks pretty good. Um... I do expect Dolly 2 to get better, though. Like, I think it could get better with, like, the skills that I have. But, hey, it's, once again, it's pretty good. Um, a Van Gogh style of paint, painting of 
an ice cream sundae. So, yeah, that's that's like a perfect example. Um, with a photo like this, once again, there's only a very few applications that I can put this on. Um, <clears throat> like, I could put it on a sticker. Uh, I can't really th say that I would put it on, a like, um, a tumbler. Uh, I couldn't really put it on an apron either because the apron is not going to show the full product. A lot of parts of it is going to get cut off. I can't put it on a t-shirt. The t-shirt, it's a square type image. So uh, the only, I feel like for me personally, the best case scenario for images like this is if it's in a canvas or so of some sort. Now you got to ask yourself what kind of prompts can you write down that could potentially make you money through a canvas. Uh I think, if anything, you have a better chance of just selling this art as um, stock photography. Like, you could create a photography stock account, like for Shutterstock or Getty Images, and then take these images and post them on there. Now, once again, the only problem you're going to run into is the quality issues, the, the resolution. Uh, when, you, when you do post a photo to Getty Images or Shutterstock or any of these other stock companies, um, they require a certain level of of resolution they require a certain level of quality and each of their images is reviewed so if i upload something like this they're just simply not going to allow it now once again if there was a way for your ai to to draw something in a much larger resolution and do it very quickly and do it in large scales of numbers um then it would be viable for what we're currently doing uh this is in its infancy stage remember this stuff is is like just the beginning this is dolly 2 so and there's actually a few there's a few other uh artificially intelligent kind of uh drawing softwares that are similar to dolly 2 uh there's one where you like you type up i forget exactly what it was called but you type up uh the the prompts that you want in a discord server and uh it basically will create like four different variations of that image and then you can request for that image to be upgraded i, I once again i can't remember what it was called but it would um it would basically do that for you and they were actually pretty decent quality so there's different kinds of ais for this um I'll just say that because it's still in its infancy stage, it's not 100% ready. It's not something that I would personally use for, for print-on-demand. I'm not downgrading it in any way. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's actually really, really cool. Like, it's beautiful. Uh, and, and it's amazing the fact that we can get access to stuff like this. This is cool. It's fun to have. Uh, but would I actually put it in a selling application and put my effort into it and, and expect it to sell? I wouldn't. I wouldn't because of the circumstances, like I said. The the, the scaling is not even 100% of the issue uh, because I actually know a method that I could scale certain images without hurting the resolution, which I'm actually going to share that in those cheap course websites that I told you about uh, where you guys know where, where we have courses from $0.99 cents to $9.99, which we'll, we'll be releasing that soon for everybody who wants access to courses at a cheaper level, uh, and we'll be releasing that, but it's just not ideal for me. It's just not ideal. wouldn't fit perfectly. Uh, typically, guys, when I'm scrolling through bots and apps, if you guys are familiar, the bots and apps company that I use for the images that I get access to is this software right here. And this software is $9.99 a month or $99 yearly. Um, and this is the tool right here. And I get to what I do is I'll type up a certain prompt. So I'll type up, let's just say ice cream. So I'll type up ice cream, let's just separate that in two words, and I'll hit search. And all the images that come up, as I'm looking in my head, I'm picturing, okay, this can fit on XYZ product, this can fit on this, this can fit on that. Um, so I I'll think of different things. So for example, maybe ice cream is not the best example, but um, let's see here. Let's see here, let's see. I'll look at any of these images and I'll just either write it off right away or I'll keep going. So like this, an image like this, I would write it off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell something like this on print on demand. An image like this, I might sell, but to be honest, I wouldn't really search for something like an ice cream. I'll search for something like a picture of a horse or a picture of a landscape or a picture of a mountain or a picture of a dog or, you know, whatever it is. And and there are certain designs and certain images that ca catch my attention. Like an image like this, I can turn this into a beautiful canvas and make hundreds if not thousands of dollars just off this image with the right marketing. Take an image like this, 
convert into various paintings, convert into very different things, post it on different places, upload it as a canvas, even an image like this in the middle, right? All these different images I can I can play around with and I can upload them. And I'll just show you how highly you know the graphics are. Look at this. Look how advanced the graphics are. The the after the recent update they made, the images are just so much better. So just look at this. I mean, you guys can see. I don't know if my screen recorder, once again, is picking this up. But you could see here the, the hairs on the horse. Um, so that's what I use for the print-on-demand as far as print-on-demand goes uh, for images. Uh, to me, I'm not going to be using the AI currently. Uh, it just It's just not where it needs to be for me. But is it very cool? It's absolutely very cool. I just don't see myself, you know, making money off of it in a way. Uh, but once again, that's just my opinion. That everybody has access to different things and has different opinions on it. Um, but that's assuming if I go with the images. Uh, if I'm creating designs, like I'm actually sitting down and creating designs, I'll use the formula that I that I show in the uh, POD design course. If you guys are familiar, uh, and we and we have a lot of students on this channel in the POD design course, but those certain methods that I created for designing in the course is how I actually do the designing. If I'm not designing that day for whatever reason, then I'll use the the, the bots and apps uh, tool right here. And uh, that's essentially how I do it. For me, I don't see myself just uploading things like this to print on demand. Currently where it stands. Maybe Dolly 3 or even Dolly 4 or even Dolly 5. By then, things will get better. But um, Dolly's, they're, they're always improving. They're always getting better, obviously, because the search. But at the same time, I don't know if it's for me. I mean, we could, you know, for print on demand necessarily, not for me. But is it something that I just have fun with and, you know, talk about and, and try for fun and cool? Yeah, it's cool. But to expect to make money for me personally off of this, uh, it's not, I'm not, and you guys know me, I've said this before, but I don't get into print on demand to make a dollar or two dollars here and there. Uh, whenever I get into something, I go deep to make a full-time income off of it passively. Uh, images like this, I, I would have to be searching for hours and hours and hours for the right photos and searching, and you only get a certain number of tokens every single month. So it's not like you could just add an infinity number of photos, but uh, those are just kind of my... I guess you could say the things that I see as setbacks with, with something like this. Uh, but once again, if you're a beginner and you have zero resources, you have no money, you have no you know no tools, no nothing, maybe try something like this. If it's free, you can access as much free content as you can. Upload it and see what happens. But once again, I don't think that you're going to make a full-time living using... And I'm just being honest. This is my opinion. Um, you know, using artificially intelligent photos. I just don't see it uh, in the beginning, at least not now. But but it's very but it's, it is very cool. And if somebody wants to go out there and try it, I totally recommend you try it. I'm not trying to put anybody down who does something like this. I think it it's really really cool. So um, that's all I gotta really say. I mean, there's not really much to it. Um, this one is Dolly Two. Like I said, there's other versions out there you could try, and they're free. Uh, and there's either comp there's also companies that uh, you can pay for their photos too. Um, where, where, you know, they'll use stuff like this. So, yeah, that's not, that's really just my opinion on it. I, I think, uh, you guys pretty much know about this already, but, um, I'll leave the, uh, link if anybody's interested in this tool. I use it. I know a lot of people want to use it and they like it. Uh, so I'll leave the tool for this tool in the description box down below, the course down below. And I'll also leave a link to Dolly 2 if you want to apply and check it out. So, uh, I'll leave all the links in the description. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.